tell them how to solve this exponential problem. This is t to the power of t, and this equals t to the power of 2. Now, we are going to solve for all values of t that satisfy this equation. So, if you observe this exponent here, we have 2. And this simply means we are going to have two solutions. Now, what a lot of people might do would be to consider this identity because if you have a to the power of b and this equals a to the power of c, now that the bases are the same, you compare the exponent, that means you have b equals c. Now, a lot of people will say that t equals 2 by simply comparing this exponent because the bases are the same. This is obviously correct, but this is just one of the solutions because we need two solutions and we need to show workings on how to get these two solutions. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of solving this and getting the two solutions. So we have t to the power of t and this equals t to the power of 2. Now look at it here. We are going to use two different methods. So let's start with self, the first method. I'm going to use omnatural log. I have ln of t to the power of t. And this equals ln of t to the power of 2. Now, if you make use of this logarithm property, if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. So applying this property right here and here, what you are going to have will be the t will definitely come behind the ln and the 2 will come behind the ln. So you have t times ln t equals 2 times ln t. So t times ln t will give us this is t ln t and this equals 2 ln t. Now, at this particular point, we are going to make use of two different methods. A first method will be, I can divide each of this by ln t. This is the first method. Meaning that ln t will eliminate ln t. And I have t equals the ln t here, eliminate ln t here. I have t equals 2. Now, this particular solution here actually corresponds to the one that we had earlier on, which is t equals 2. Now, like I said earlier on, we can make use of two different methods. The second method will be, let's multiply this out, t times ln t, we are still going to have, this is t ln t, and this equals 2 times ln t. This is 2 ln t. So I can decide to move this over here. And this will be t ln t minus 2 ln t. And this equals 0. So there is ln t here. There is ln t here. I can factor that out. I have ln t times. I divide this by ln t. I have my t minus. I divide this by ln t. I have 2. And this equals zero. So at this particular point in time, I'm going to have, I will equate each of these to zero. So I have ln t equals zero. And also have t minus two equals zero. For ln t equals zero, I can solve for t by making use of e. I need to eliminate this ln, so I have e power ln t. And this equals e power 0. So, e power ln t give us 1. So, we have t equals e power 0. Now, any number or alphabet raised to a power 0 is 1. We have e power 0 is 1. 2 power 0 is 1. The only exception to this rule is when you have 0 power 0 and this is not 1. This undefined or Now, we have t equals, I said this undefined or indeterminate, right? 
So e power zero is one. So we now have two different solutions, but let's also solve this to check the other of the solution, which is t minus two equals zero. So this will simply we have t equals two. We take this over here. So we have two different solutions using this particular method. We have t equals one and t equals two. So this is one method of solving it and having the two solutions. Now let's consider another method. So we are still going to make use of the same solution equation. We have t power t and this equals t power two. So in this method, I divide this by t power two. I divide this by t power two. t power two eliminate t power two. That is one. I have t power t divided by t power two and this equals one. So what I'm going to do will be to apply this identity. I just want to expose it to this other method. If you have a power n divided by a power m, this equals a power n minus n. Considering the fact that the bases are the same, you subtract the exponent. So I'm going to have t power t minus two, and this equals one. So the next thing I'm going to do here will be to make use of ln. I have ln t power t minus 2, and this equals ln 1. So right now, applying the same logarithm property or natural law property, if you have ln power a power b, this equals b times ln a. So right now, the t minus 2 here will come behind the ln. So I have t minus 2 times ln t, and this equals ln 1. And what you should also know is that natural log of 1 is 0. So what you are going to have is t minus 2 times ln t equals 0. So at this particular point, I'm going to equate each of these to 0. So I'm going to have t minus 2 equals 0 and also have ln t equals 0. Now, if you have t minus 2 equals 0, I can easily move this negative 2 over here. I have t equals 2. This is my t1 and this actually also corresponds to the first t that I had earlier. Now, if you have ln t equals 0, I can easily solve for t. By making use of e, I have e power ln t equals e power 0. e eliminate ln. So I have t equals e power 0. And like I said earlier, any number or alpha of the of 0 is 1. I have t equals 1. This second method still gives us the two solutions. And you can make use of any method that you want. Now, at this particular point, the next thing we are going to do will be to easily check or quickly let's check. We have two solutions, t equals 2 and t equals 1. And the question remains the same, which is t power t equals t power 2. Now, when t equals 2, what we are going to have will be 2 power 2, and this equals 2 power 2. So, 2 power 2 here is 4, and this equals 4. Let's consider when t is 1. And when t is 1, we are going to still make use of t power t equals t power 2. I have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 2. Obviously, 1 power 1 is 1, and this equals 1 power 2 is 1. In fact, 1 power any number is 1. So, the two solutions have proven to be correct. And that is it. Thank you and goodbye.